Oh, this is going to be in the intro. Look. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, wow. Whoa. What am I doing? Just start eating. Talk about what you got. Okay. Look at this sandwich. Or is it a bun? You know? Woo! I got the Veja Extravaganza. And it's tempeh, uh, cheese, truffle mayonnaise, arugula. I think there's something else going on in there. I but... can't believe you got this because Michelle was disgusted when she got tempeh for the first time mm -hmm. at uh, Top Exotic, our favorite Surinamese place. Yeah. And I think she's decided that she's going to try and warm up to it. It has so many other things going on in the sandwich that I feel like this is probably the best way to like dip my toes back in it, All you right. know? And right, here, here we go. Oh, there's pickle flavored potato chips oh, on that's it. Right. That was the other yeah, thing yeah, that yeah. was missing. All right. Oh, baby. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This restaurant is called Bun. And when we saw this come across our Instagram feed somehow, <laughs> we were just like, oh, how can we not go to this place? It's, it's basically calling to us. I mean, the sandwiches and the menu obviously helped a lot, but you know, it's it's basically named after us. This is basically what a, a restaurant that we would open would be called. Dude, this is so good. The tempeh hey, just yes. kind of tastes more like, um, like a tomato saucy flavor with a little bit of chew. And the potato chips are still crunchy. Mm. Yeah. That's a good looking sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's really, 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 really good. Wow. Yeah. It's a lot of reallys. Mm. I got the tuna melt, which is something I probably would never order in the United States. Mm -mm. It's pretty popular here in the Netherlands. I find them in a lot of sandwich shops. Like uh, the Daily Mail. Oh, yeah. In that Georgia has a really, really good tuna good. melt. This has um, tuna, cheddar cheese. Uh, I think it also has the truffle mayonnaise on it. And. Um, some sort of like pickle relish on here. Can't remember what it's called. Is it jalapenos? No, it was like oh. an onion compote. Okay. Ooh. Oh, mine has that too. It's all over your mouth. Yeah. It's a sloppy sandwich, baby. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> mm, the bread. What style of bread is this? This is excellent bread. Yeah. Very crispy on the outside. I have no idea. It's kind of like ciabatta, but like thinner. Oh, the onion compote's super sweet. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We weren't going to go here today. Yeah. We decided that we wanted to fit it into our, our, our vlog, and I'm glad we did. It's it might perfect, be one of the best sandwiches I've had in the Netherlands. Perfect breakfast sandwich. In the Netherlands, there's one thing that I think I've said more of than I've ever said anywhere else in my life. This, this is, is the, the best, best sandwich, sandwich I've, I've ever, ever had. had. <laughs> All right, we have arrived in Skidam. And honestly, this is a city that we've wanted to come to for a really, really long time. It's just uh, the timing never quite worked out for one reason or another. And honestly, um, or I, I don't, I say honestly too much. Um, humorously, the timing actually didn't work out today either because the reason we really wanted to come here uh, is uh, there's a ramen restaurant here that is known to be the best ramen in the Netherlands. And uh, they are currently on summer vacation. They went on summer vacation, I think last weekend. So we barely missed it. And I think they're on summer vacation until mid August. So uh, yeah. Still not the perfect time to be in Skidam, but we wanted to go and it's a beautiful day and we're going to see some fucking windmills and drink some Yenever, you know? Hell yeah. She doesn't have her mic on. Hell yeah. <laughs> have we, I, where is it? What are it we looking like the for? the castle ruins or something. Oh yeah, Hold it's on. um. Also, um, we haven't released a video that had the, uh, the icebreaker questions in it yet. <laughs> But uh, I'm just going to assume it's extremely popular because don't worry, they're going to be in this video We're too. Doing it again. I went to a different website and uh, it's, asked, it's, it's an icebreaker question website for like starting a new job or something. And they are, <laughs> they are weirdly deep questions. What? So, that, so that's, that, that's coming. All right. I think we're here. Whoa. Weird. Oh. Oh, that came wow. out of nowhere. Oh, interesting. Oh my gosh. Huh. Hey, that's super cool. That is super cool. I love how it's just like here. They're just like, let's just keep this here. Because everything down around there? here is very... Can you get down there? I don't think you might so. be able to get down there. Let's go over there, maybe. Oh, today's um, Sunday. So uh, what's your uh, alliteration for Sunday? Ooh, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I've oh, got one. I know. Yeah. It's Sandwich Sunday. Oh my God, that's a good one. Yeah. I was just going to say Slutty Sunday, but that's a way better one. <laughs> Wait, are we both slutty today? Um, you're not. I mean, I'm wearing a hoodie. I don't know if that's very slutty. 
It's not what you wear, it's, it's how your, you wear it. It's your mentality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, that too. Hey, get oh. back there. Oh, I'm scared. There's bees back here. <laughs> we did it. Oh, cool. You can look in here too. There's stuff in here. Oh, this is going to be in the intro. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, wow. Whoa. Hello. Hello. We are at Tiribira Castle. And evidently all of these like government buildings were built around it, not purposefully. Like it was just free space. So they started building the government buildings and they realized that it was like starting to dwarf the castle remains. And so now they've decided not to build anything on this side. So you can still see it freely from the road and from that side of the city as well. Seemed like they didn't appreciate it that much in the beginning. It was more of a burden. Now they've realized it's quite nice. Just... <laughs> Let's go look at the other side. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah. What three items would you take to a desert island? Um, uh, sashimi, <laughs> pants. Do, she, do they have a say in this? No. Sashimi, pants, and... Hmm. Sunscreen. Yeah. So no food. No food, because it's going to run out, you know? And the sunscreen won't. This is St. Jan's Kirk. And fun fact about the church, most of it actually burnt down in the Skidon fire in 1428. However, they used it as an opportunity to basically rebuild the entire church and expand it. And in the Wikipedia article, it didn't have any more information about the skeet on fire. So I'm wondering, like, what caused it? What was, like, what happened? There is no more information about it. So if you know, let us know. What task appears simple but is actually quite challenging? What task appears simple but is actually quite challenging? Um, loading the dishwasher. That was a terrible answer. <laughs> I should have said the female orgasm. <laughs> so one of the things that Skidam is known for, in addition to producing Yenever, is uh, having a lot of windmills. So we're going to go take a look at some of those today. We're going to go walk around and check them out right now. Yeah. I can already see one. Look, is that where we're going? That's where we're going. Do you know why? There are so many windmills in Skidam. Is this a joke? Is it like a punchline? <laughs> yeah. But um, no. Is it? I don't know. Well, we thought this was the windmill that we were going to, but it's actually uh, this one. This windmill. So. <laughs> oh my gosh. We weren't kidding when we said there's a lot of windmills in Skidam. Uh, correction, <laughs> it's actually not that windmill. It's uh, it's this windmill. So. There are a lot of windmills. There are like four times as many windmills as I expected. Okay, we have arrived, and once again, it is not that windmill. We are here for this windmill. This one was the tallest in the city until 2005. Oh, well, where's, what's the 2005 one? Uh, we'll see it later. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What would you do with your time if you were wealthy enough not to need a job? Oh my gosh. I would, I would open up a cat sanctuary. Okay. And lay in the middle of it and let all the cats crawl all over me and it would be the best life ever, don't you think? Yeah, that's not pretty good. Yeah. What about you? No, this isn't about me. Oh. Okay. This one is the Dree Corn Blumen and it is the oldest windmill in Skidam. I think it was built in 1770. 1785. Oh, okay. Oh my god, you're so full of shit, Michelle. Our fact would have been wrong. It was oh. after I'm glad we fact-checked. The Declaration of Independence. Wait, this is the wrong mill. <laughs> <laughs> this is not, this is not the right mill. Oh my gosh. There are a lot of mills. What the heck? Double windmill. Look at that. Double windmill all the way. <laughs> oh my god. We have found turtles. <gasps> it's not even Turtle Tuesday. Turtle Tuesday came early this week. 
Oh my gosh, look at them, they're just hanging on that log. They are so cute. Get out of here, duck. This isn't about you. They're real, right? They're sunning. Um. Oh my God. You know, now that you say that, I'm pretty I sure they're, they're fake. fake. <laughs> <laughs> they're like not moving at all. They're definitely fake. Damn it. <laughs> this is the old one? This is the right one and we were correct about the date. You said we. I was correct about the date. Oh, there you go. Okay. We're at the viral influencer obsessed chocolate place in Ski Dom <laughs> to get the viral influencer obsessed chocolate bar. Yes, this is the Bontaku, which is the name of the chocolate. Um, and this is the pistachio canufis. I think it's um, pistachio and then there's like um, some, like the, the, the stuff that's in voxel balls inside of it. Oh, yeah. like even the, um, what is that called? Why do I hear a ring doorbell? Is that like is a church boat? here? Oh my gosh, did the... did you're, the? You're getting sidetracked. Okay, anyway. Okay. So it's like baklava inside of it, but possibly. Oh my gosh, it's very beautiful. It is very beautiful. It's very shiny. Should I just break it right in half? Yeah, let's just get one piece. Okay. Let's save the rest for later. Not in a oh, oh, I'll break the edge. Yeah. Crazy. <gasps> oh. Oh, look at that. It's gooey. Oh, it's really gooey. Wow. That was unexpected. Unexpected goo. It smells really nutty inside. Like a very nice creamy chocolate and very nutty. Isn't this like making noise in your mouth? Mm-hmm. Are you not can you open your mouth and look? You can't hear it. Oh. It's not popping like that. Oh. But it's popping. It's like a mix between a crunch bar and a like a, a Reese's cup, oh. but with pistachio. You know what I mean? It's not popping, but it is making that like crunchy sound mm -hmm. on your teeth. What is that? <laughs> it's just funny that you're like, you know, it's making a popping sound on your teeth. It's called crunching. Yeah, but it's like, it's pretty intense, you know? It's almost like, you know, when you get like a little bit of sand in your mouth and you're like grinding it between your teeth, the except shell. it's delicious. <sighs> Hmm. You are the, the queen of negative food descriptions when you feel positive about things. I'm just trying to describe the sensation. It's like sand in your teeth. It is a similar but, like but, texture, but isn't it's it? it's delicious. But it's, it's delicious sand. Oh. All right, and for our last windmill of the day, this is uh, the windmill at the Nolet Distillery, which is, I think, the distillery that makes Kettle One. Yes, it is. The vodka. Which is vodka. Not your neighbor. Not your neighbor. Also, this windmill was built in 2005, which and makes it the tallest windmill in Oh, uh, this is the one that replaced the tallest. Yeah. And I also think it's the tallest windmill in the world. Is that? That's what I have written down. Yeah. And I if, think it's, so. if you wrote it down, it has to be true. It's definitely also, true. At the, the, the NOLA Distillery headquarters over here, they not only have an American flag next to their Dutch flag, but interestingly, on the building, it says Baltimore. Yeah. Why does it say Baltimore? I can't believe Kettle One is in the Netherlands. I know. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's so impressive. People I'd are say, gonna fact check this and be like, they actually don't make vodka here or something. I mean, I think they, I think they actually do. I think this is like a real place where they produce it because you can't do a tour of it. Maybe because they don't make anything here. Because <laughs> there's nothing. To there's look nothing at. to show. There's nothing to show. <laughs> yeah, and I think also this windmill is still operational. It doesn't grind grain, but it generates electricity for the distillery. So, I mean, it's generating electricity for something. Okay. What's your <laughs> <laughs> We were just walking down the street and we found out that the Bonta, De Bonta Coup mm -hmm. has a, an automat. Look at that. You can just get it, get it right here. Yum. They've got bars in here too. Yeah. I'm not going to get it because we already have it. But That's I would assume, I think this cool. is the... It's right here. Oh, yeah. You don't even have to go in this shop. No. If you're antisocial. That's so fun. If that's your thing. Yeah. Here like, we are. Oh, wow. You never eat a spool. Oh. Or head spool, sorry. All right. You never eat head spool. Shall we sit outside? All right. We stopped in for a little you never tasting, which basically means drinking just one meat because this is going to probably. Yeah, in our notes, I think Michelle expected that they were going to have like your neighbor drinks, like mixed drinks, but I just do not think that's the vibe yeah, here. Yeah, we asked him and he was like, 
no, that's really not how you drink it. Which, you know, fair. Yeah, yeah. So and he gave me a little tasting of this one. And they I have 600. They have yeah. more than 600 in the shop, which yeah. is insane. And he, like, he knew really his knew. shit. Yeah, he was very, it was very impressive. I actually think, oops, Whoa. this is the name of it. Hold on, let me look this up. Well, this says it is Notaris, which is from Skeetal. Okay. I'm not sure it's distilled here anymore, but I think it's, like, originally from Skeetal. Oh, okay. Yeah. And this is not young, right? It's old. It's old, yeah, because it's a little more mellow and sweet is usually why it's like this color instead of the young, which is the lighter color. People should refer back to our Ruta video if they yeah. want to get some actual facts about Yenever. We're just here to drink. We do not have our... I'm sad because I feel like I learned a lot during that tasting, but I have retained maybe like this Very much little of it. Of it. <laughs> but the good news is it's recorded in a video, so we have that to look back on. Exactly. I mean, it's not, it's, it, it tastes alcoholic, but it's not too strong because it's very like, like sweet and mm. a little bit of like a caramelized yeah. kind of flavor, which mellows out the whole. Like a whiskey like, or a bourbon. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They also have Kettle One and I asked, he did not recommend it, but we asked about it and apparently they do have Yenever. They have a young Yenever. We learned something new today. Yeah, I guess they don't just distill vodka. Yeah. Huh. Yep. How drunk are you going to be after this? I'm already feeling my face flush. You've had one sip. I've had three sips. Oh. Okay. And you'd be on the floor if you did like a full out tasting here. Yeah. I think we should probably, like what's, we, this is the time to ask the most, the hardest core of yeah. the icebreaker questions. I don't know. I think that question, last question that you asked me was not work appropriate. Oh, you're right. Didn't you say these are for like interview or like icebreaker questions at well, work? It, it really depends on where you work, I think. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. I guess yeah. it might be appropriate depending on on the type of job that you're in. Yeah, because yeah. it could be important information. Remember, we are in the Netherlands. That's true. Okay. Well, we didn't really see a ton of ski dom today. We saw a lot of windmills. And <laughs> we drank your neighbor. Mm -hmm. Michelle drank your neighbor. I yeah. drank sparkling water. Yeah. You had a little sip, didn't I you? I had a little sip. Yeah. And I had two little sips. We uh uh, and then we went to Bun, which is not in Ski Dom, no. but oof, man, if you're, if you're in Rotterdam, you got to go to Bun. It was real tasty. Yeah. Um, well. How do we end this one? Um, Have a good day. Oh, Michelle's drunk. No, I'm not. On a scale of one to ten. Mm, ten is like super drunk? Yeah. I don't know. It's like a five. It's pretty drunk. It's like a five. Yeah. What are you willing to do on the vlog that you wouldn't normally want to do because you're you're, you're feeling it, you know? A cartwheel. Oh my god, yeah, okay. <laughs> no. Let's see it. I'm not doing a cartwheel. Oh, so you lied. Um, yeah, I can't. I don't know how to do a cartwheel, but I would if I could. Anyway. Okay, bye. Bye.